I can't sleep. So I thought I'd introduce you to Tim Pot Bunny 0.5. Tim Pot Bunny 0.5. He's a uh, Game Bunny's Android brother. Um, Game Bunny came on a date night. Uh, he was the overseer. I talked about him briefly in uh, another show, if anyone's following the news. And he was like the referee when we were playing um, games. So he had to watch to make sure there was no cheating. And um, then I... Have you seen me? My face is gone. I think Game Bunny is helping. Um, it's a pub quiz. Like, I don't know, a couple of days after that. And there was a sculpting round. And you had to sculpt something out of tin foil for one of the rounds. So I was determined I was going to do that because literally I was dying of boredom uh, with the company I was in. And um, plus, I'm the creative one of the group. <laughs> so that was for Warship Down. I'd actually bought a video as well, I think. Um, or I bought it just after to watch on the following date night, which never happened, surprisingly. <laughs> So, that's Tim Pot Bunny 0.5, 0.5, because I scored 0.5 for for um, for um Ninja Move in the, one of the games, and so he's now on the altar as a uh, Game Bunny's um, Android counterpart, really, so he's the overseer. Of all things, the referee. So um, that's the story behind Tim Pot Bunny. He has no tail, but he has to make sure everything's done properly and there's no foul play. Um, so we know it's all gonna, it's all gonna work out as it should do, because Tim Pot Bunny is watching everyone. <laughs> He ate, you know, Elf on the Shelf, literally. Tim Pot Bunny will just chew his knees. He doesn't care. He really doesn't. Um, I haven't done my drawing today. I wasn't going to do it. I was too tired. I'm waking up now, so I might. I don't know. Draw some bunnies or something. I haven't really got the mood to do anything at all. Irritable. <laughs> very irritable and um, sometimes keeping mum it's tedious waiting I know that the patience card keeps coming up came up in uh, something recently don't worry about it just just be patient everything's unfolding I'm sick of waiting things to unfold but there we go I have to be patient so um <sighs> Bunny make sure things comes out as they should do. It doesn't always do people good to win. Anyway, sometimes not winning is the best thing. But we'll see. That's not just the football. That's that's uh just life. But different people need different things. Some people need to win. Some people don't. Some people don't deserve to win, so they don't. Super Bunny is waiting to choose some knees. It's the attack rabbit, aren't you? Quite good, isn't he? You'd have got some water proof, water proof, <laughs> water proof frown from that, wouldn't you? Easily. It was quite obvious. It's quite obvious indeed. I think so too. I don't know how long we had to do that. Two and a half minutes, probably. Honestly. Such a good game. Give your children a piece of tin foil and say, 
who ever doesn't make the best thing is the worst child and they have to go outside and we'll never talk to them again. Um, and then say the wall rubbish and they have to go to bed and you don't want them anymore. Um, that's a good parenting hack, I think. And then there'll be no doubts and no fighting amongst them over which one is the favourite because you can tell them they're all equally hated. And um, stop any nonsense right, right at the beginning. Another good game we used to play <laughs> was <laughs> you're not my child. <laughs> You're definitely, you're definitely not one of mine. I, there was a mix up at the hospital. Um, I don't know what on earth anyone was thinking when, when they thought you were one of my children. Um, no, I'm joking. The plasticine game, the modelling plasticine game, um, where you're given a piece of plasticine and you have to model something out of that. Um, when I was doing Sketchy, when I was promoting Sketchy June to my um, harem of massive followers, um, my son, he just, the first thing he said, which is quite, he said, is there going to be daily prompts? I like, well, no, there wasn't actually, but you know, sometimes that's, uh, I said, you could, you could do a theme because I was trying to get him to put it within a group himself, um, and actually do it as an art project. So you probably like try and hire an art space because there's a, like an arts festival going on. Just even if you get like 50 people, you don't even to get that ready to you. Sketchbook. You could even like provide them a sketchbook and go and buy them from like Tiger or something for a pound each. Give them a sketchbook, say, you know, sketch a day and then just do an, ex not an exhibition, an installation of the, of the, um, sketches. Because it would be like a mental health promotion of, you know, blah. What is it? That's mental health anyway. Um, Covid safe because you can go out and sketch because you, you get out or stay in. Don't really matter, does it? Anyway, I thought it would be a good thing to do. Um, I even told him people who who would help him get an art space. But, um, you know, you can't tell people, can you? He didn't want, well, no, you can't tell people. He didn't want to do it, so he didn't. I don't want to do it either. <laughs> I'm just an ideas person. I just, I have ideas and then people ignore them. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm the master maker. I am. Well, yeah, I'm not, but. Do you know, years ago, I, um, I created Marmite. I fucking invented peanut butter Marmite as well. Well, I didn't, like my, uh, my mate in Helston did. But, um, we used to, cause like, um, in the, in the bins, I call it the bins, the loony bins. In the bins, you uh, you get like supper. You do get supper, not crops. You 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 get supper, at, um, just before bedtime, and they come around with a trolley of sandwiches and like I don't know, jelly and biscuits, crackers and peanut butter, and marmite and jam, toast, and um, oh, also a bit tedious at one point. But then she used to make these fucking amazing. Honestly, you wouldn't know how good they were unless you had peanut butter and marmite, especially if you're vegan. Like, uh, peanut, she used to put everything in, in crackers. <laughs> peanut butter, cheese, salad. Honestly, we felt like queens. It was so good. Uh, salad and peanut butter sandwiches. You wouldn't even think to have it, would you? Um, it was pretty good. But peanut butter and um, marmite, Definitely invented this. I don't know who stole this, which which one of my malware fans stole it. I don't care, to be honest. I don't care. Um, you mix it in hot water. Because, like, my mind in hot water is a drink, isn't it? Like, so yes. Yes, so yes, it is. And um, I discovered if you do peanut butter and Marmite, not only do you get hospitalised, joking, it's like a, it tastes like chicken soup. Well, mock chicken soup vegans is uh vegans can eat anything it's like people think they're crazy anyway what day is it saturday it's a crazy day outside all the children are scootering around probably off their tits or molly or whatever they call it in your neck of the woods um it's kids are in it um so yeah, it's like fake chicken soup. So that was another. But no, I forgot. You know, years ago, years and years and years ago, I had a really good idea for a Marmite advert, like a promotion. I, and I forgot what it was. Um, 
I thought oh, that's a really good that's a really that would be really good uh uh what's it called? Promotion really advert. Uh we bought up my mic. See what we uh that's it really. I don't want to introduce you to Tim Pop Bunny. He's listening. He's that's why his ears are up. He's taking it all in. He's what ears like Wade does. Oh, I told you he's waving her legs in the air. Come and see. Can you see? Blur Fluff's his new palace. I think he's sleeping. He's got a dolphin. I stuck it on. I was going to stick it on the outside. But whether he could... I thought it might... Do you know what? He really attacked his pondweed earlier. He proper butted it. Like, I've never seen him do that before. So I think he might have killed the other fish. And I want to know what that stone is. What is it? It looks like a bubble stone, like um, a mud bubble. Um, probably where a load of I don't know. I'm just I'm making things up now. I think they look like worms, don't they? Like wormholes in a fossilized mud. Or oh, it could be what could it be? Cow dung that's had worms in it. Or oh, uh, I don't know. It's bubble mud, isn't it? I like it though. I can't remember why I found that. I'm just finding bits of stone. Um, oh. He loves his new house though. He's proper happy. I'm always sleeping. I'm going to have a look. At the back, under the pineapple, actually. Oh, God, the pineapple's on the roof. It's still under it, his pineapple house. Uh, he's like Finn, isn't he, from uh, Adventure Time. We loved Adventure Time so much. Mushroom's completely, completely, complete. He was like auto, autoimmune child anyway. Uh And watched everything obsessively, every single thing. Like my Nightmare Before Christmas, when he first watched that, literally when he was about, I don't even know how old he was, three probably, four. He got hold of a copy of that and literally it was on constantly for I don't know how long. Over, He'd watch it about four times a day. Um, so we, we watched quite a lot of that. There's worse things children can watch, isn't there, <laughs> as an adult. Like, there's literally so much Peppa Pig I can deal with. Um, and then he, well, obviously later we get into Adventure Time, so we used to watch that a lot as well. But um, I didn't mind that at all. So he's like Finn the Human, and he's blue and white. And he's Jake, the, his cat, what's the Fiona's cat called? <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, I can't remember. Anyway, his catfish got smashed up. Which is sad. I was just thinking, I want to get him next. He's just going to have to... I don't know. I'm going to give him a batch on a string or something. I don't really know. Big shell, jump inside. You know you should have stayed and fought that sexy vampire lady. Oh, flame princess. <laughs> oh. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes, making pancakes. Hmm. Oh. He probably did smash it though, his roof. I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I think he smashed the fish. I think he did. <sighs> what do you think, Tim Pot Bunny? We don't know, do we? Maybe that's not what happened.
Kept saying we went down, didn't he? Kept saying he's gone down. Went down. Hmm. Alright. What should I do now? Drawing? Someone will help me. See what I should do with my life. Um, I'm slowly sat there. I've got to stop being so needy. God's sake, can I be less needy? I put my onesie on, maybe. My blue onesie. A stitch, isn't it? Or lilo? I think. Oh, yeah. Mm. Who's gonna win the football? I don't know. Well, we are, aren't we? Definitely. I think so. I've done it now. I mean, it happen in my in my universe anyway. Um, uh, it's full moon tomorrow. That's why I can't sleep. Uh, I think. What do you think, to little bunny? Let's read this. This is like one of my Jesus things. I was always picking up this jazz on my travels. Uh, I got a few of these. I think I, I bought them. They will represent different people when I buy things like this. I'll buy it for your protection. I'll get this for protection for you. Sometimes I give them to people and they probably just block me. But um, I don't really care. Done it, haven't I? You put, you put the order in. Uh, you know, get the cake. <laughs> you fucking pile of complaint. Um, somebody made these. I think, where did I get these? Adam Brooks? No. Look, aren't they cute? Little pocket. A little, like a vampire thing. You hold it up, and it burns the vampires. That's so cool. Everyone needs one of these. So, what's the poem? There's another one. And my... I think it's in my daughter. She made something at school. The cross in my pocket. I carry a cross in my pocket. A simple reminds me of the fact that I'm Christian, no matter where I may be. This little cross is not magic, nor is it a good luck charm. This is all... This is lies. And, um... It isn't meant to protect me from every physical harm. That's true. It's not for identification. Oh, for all the world to see. I've ruined it. <laughs> um, when I put my hand in pocket to bring out a coin or key, the cost is there. I don't even keep it in my pocket. I've, do you know what? This is just fraudulent. This is fraudulent propaganda. Um, it reminds me to be thankful for my blessings day by day and strive to serve better in all I do and say. It's also a daily reminder of the peace and comfort I share with all that know my master and gives themselves to his care. So I carry this cross in my pocket, reminding no one but me that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life. If only I let it be. I remember being different poems, actually. Um... Thanks so much for this jazz. I think I was quite Christian that day. I changed. I'm not faved. Somebody told me I can't be. They're Christians. So. There's only one religion. Do you know, you do things your way. I do things my way. I like all the religions, to be honest. I'm greedy. You can tell that. I think I've got something in you and us. I'm prone to... Prone to... Uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called when you get fat? Oh, I've forgotten. Uh, it's the most greedy. All the religions. You can't stop me. You can't say I can't have them all. I can. I will. And I do. Um, um, it's good enough for pie. It's good enough for me. Life of Pi. That was my favourite book. I've talked about that years ago. Life of Pi. We've seen... I bought the book when it first came out because I was into... Oh, I don't know. Recommended things. That was a, the, uh, that was a prize-winning thing, wasn't it? I forgot which one. 
um, Nobel Book Prize <laughs> or something anyway. Um, and I start to read it and I literally couldn't get into it. This happens a lot. Well, I used to have a lot of books when I was reading. I put it down and a friend of mine borrowed it. He came around and picked it up. I think he's Pisces as well, Aquarius. Which is crazy anyway, another crazy fool, but he was a good a good friend. Came at the right time, another Earth Angel. And he like he came back with it the next day and said, Fucking hell, that's an amazing book. So like, what you fucking blitz that? And he goes, Oh my god, it was so good, I couldn't stop reading it. So I read it and it's like actually it was quite a good book. Um it's good enough for a piscine, it's good enough for anyone, isn't it? Like I want all the religions. I think I need a couple. Didn't he? Three? Three? Oh. So that's open doors really then. Um, and I did like the film. I mean, I thought it was beautifully, beautifully short, very ethereal, wasn't it? But I, you know, I did like the book too. And um, that one, again, when I was in, um, what was that, the crazy hospital where we did a dancing, we had a disco room in London. Mm, Beckton. Um, that was on the telly all the time. Every time, every time we went having a disco, that was on the telly. And it was like, it's quite magical. It's one of those uh, magical stories, isn't it? It is a magical story. I love that. Uh, hmm. Is that the end of this show? I, I think I'm going to do the end of this show and I'm going to do some sketching. Pop Bunny says, definitely, because you can't just keep putting these things off. You need to show some maturity and actually finish uh, something one day. Um, I keep trying to use the mouse to switch off the um, tablet because I've got the tablet. I'm using the laptop as a... Um, what's it called? Like an easel. So hold the tablet. Clever, isn't it? I think so. Um, but I keep you trying to use the mouse to work it. I do that like a <laughs> cash machine. <laughs> I'm sure everyone does that. It's like, what the fuck? Why is it working? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, boomer. Right. Um, let's crack on then. With, with um my time capsule.